So let's do the same with the dog character. I downloaded this character from BlendSwap, it's uh, CC0, and I'm going to include it uh, in the files. Let's check the model again, especially since we didn't make this model ourselves. First, in front view, I can see that my dog is facing front, so that's good. Its location is not zeroed out. I can easily do that by pressing Apply Location. I want the character to be more in the middle of the world from the side view, so I'm going to go in Edit Mode and move it on the Y axis a little bit until it's kind of in the, in the middle. Then I'm going to check my rotation, it's, it's looking good, scale is looking good. Now I want to model to scale and this dog is 3 meters tall, which I don't like. So I'm going to scale it down until it's, I don't know, let's say 1 meter. I'll need to apply my scale again, so I'll go to apply, scale. As far as topology is concerned, it looks like it's going to work. So again, I want to keep things simple. So uh, first I'm going to make sure that the dog layer is selected. And then I'm going to press Shift A, Armature. We have a wolf rig, which could work, but it's a little bit too complex for this uh, simple example. So let's stick to basic, basic quadruped. Let's activate uh, in front and axis. And again, I'm going to scale down the rig until it looks good. But now, because I, I'm already aware that my scale needs to be applied, I'm going to uh, go ahead and apply the scale. And then I'm going to go to edit mode and uh, start aligning uh, the head to the head. And then this seems to be the, uh, the, the neck, so I'm going to align it. Again, I'm aware that the neck and head need to be connected, so I'm going to press C and select uh, this nodule, and then I can move the bone and uh, keep, it, keep it connected. I'm going to move the spine towards the center of the body. I'm going to align the tail. I need to mention this. You can see that if you select the first bone of the tail, you can again disconnect it from the spine. And this may create problems again, so make sure you keep it connected. This tail is slightly bent to comply with this rule of having a neutral pose. I think it would be better if the tail is a little bit more straight. So I'm going to use this new tool in Blender 2.82, which allows me to quickly pose limbs and uh, stuff like that. So I'm going to straighten the tail and then uh, go to, back to the armature and align the armature to the tail. Under options, make sure you have uh, X mirror activated. So this is the shoulder bone. I'm going to move it into place. I'm going to align the leg. And this is a pelvis bone. Uh, I'm going to align it with my model a little bit better. From the front view, the front legs seem to be a little bit misaligned. So let's move them a little bit in the, in the X axis. The back legs are almost okay. So that looks good. I can try to hit generate, but here's a very important point especially when you have more than one rig, you need to be aware of these advanced options. Right now, if I click advanced, I'll get these uh, additional options. And you, you see that uh, currently it's set to overwrite. This means that it will try to overwrite my human rig when I click, when I click generate. So when we have more than one character, you need to make sure that you click new. And now I can generate the rig. It seems to have worked. I'm going to select the character, shift select the rig, and control P with automatic weights. 
I'm going to select the character and and, and the modifiers, I want to move the subsurf modifier below the armature modifier. And now I can select the rig, go into pose mode and uh, give it a try. I can see that the legs uh, do not do not deform well, but that's to be expected with, uh, with the character that we downloaded and we didn't make ourselves. Let's see if I can fix that. I'm going to go to the back to the meta rig. And I think uh, the problem is that my leg is currently very straight. So let's add another quadruped just to check what it looks like. So I can see that the chain kind of bends backwards. So let's try to do that here and see if that helps. And then in the front view, I'm going to select the whole chain and uh, scale it on the x-axis so that it's completely straight. I'm going to get rid of this additional uh, meta rig, select the, the main one, and then I'm going to go to, to the armature tab and under advanced options, now I want to overwrite. This is my generated rig, so I'm going to call it dog rig, and it's currently hidden. This is another thing that I want to show you. I'm going to make sure the meta rig is set to overwrite and uh, the target rig is my dog rig, which I just generated and just renamed. And now I'll try to press generate rig. What happened is I got a copy of my meta rig without any error message at all. I'm going to press Ctrl Z to undo until the, 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 the meta rig copy is gone. The problem here is that the meta rig and the, the rig that you want to overwrite need to be both to be visible. If they're not, you get this weird behavior, but now you know why. So again, uh, with the generated rig shown in the viewport, I'm going to click generate rig. I'm going to hide the meta rig and then go to pose mode. And uh, yeah, uh, now the, the legs behave better. That's it for this chapter. Uh, feel free to click around and uh, try to pose your character as you as you wish. Uh, there are a couple of options uh, under item that you may want to play with. Uh, I'm going to explain all of them in detail later on, but for now, uh, this should be enough. Thanks for watching. The next chapter will be available soon or it may already be uploaded. Details will be in the video description or just go to cgdive.com slash rigify where you'll find the latest chapters, additional resources and information about advanced lessons that I'm working on. If you want to support me, click like and subscribe.